This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is Tanisha. I am 39 years old, and I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I was working for a rapper as an assistant for many years. She was bringing home generous amounts of income. I was able to live a life that people can only, only dream of. Uh -huh. And because of my sister, we strived for a better life. My sister became a special ed teacher, and my little brother ended up following his dreams by playing professional basketball. She was just, she was happy-go-lucky, and then later down the road, she just changed. My sister Tanisha is a heroin addict. I use heroin about six to seven times a day, maybe even more. I also use crack cocaine. I see two ways to this thing. One is gel, and the other is death. I was raised by my mother. I was also blessed to be raised by my grandmother, and traveling with my grandmother was something that I really loved but my upbringing was traumatizing also. Before my mother actually left my biological father, they were drug addicts at the time, and um, the household was hard. I've never witnessed Debbie using, but we've all known that she's had issues with drug addiction for many, many years. Yes, I have used drugs before but I have been able to come off and back off and kind of like wing down. My mom has mixed and mingled with a lot of dangerous individuals. She's dealing with other addicts like herself. <sighs> I'm sorry. Um... Okay, sorry. Growing up, um... Some of the hardest things I saw was um, my mother uh, being um, abused. We would see our mother beaten. We would see our mother bloody. We would notice our mother's eyes bruised. I wasn't just beat with a, with a hand. I was beat with um, something, um, the end of a belt, something, something that put bruises all over me, blood and bruises all over me. She was still a vibrant child, even after all the things that she had been through and the things that she had seen. She took us in. She saw bruises on me one time, and after that, it was just over. My grandmother had Tanisha and Tiffany for several years. I did have to assume a parental role for my sister and my brother. I would feed them, help them with their homework. There was structure, there was love. I was like a second mom to both of them. When my sister was hanging with her successful friend, her ambition to want more grew. So my sister went to college she was a pre-med major, and she was on task. She was focused. College was one of the best times of my life. I loved living on campus. I loved every single thing about school. My mother did not handle it well whatsoever, and I had to go home. Tanisha assumed a parental role of keeping my mother sane, as well as keeping my brother and I grounded. I don't think my mother was heavy on heroin while he was alive, as hard as she got on it when he passed away. A lot of the weight fell on Tanisha's shoulders. Yeah, I felt the pressure to help her pay the bills, give her money make sure there was groceries in the house and stuff. Bills were paid, yeah. He's the king of the West Coast. 
I met him at 15 years old, and he became a really good friend of mine. When I left college, he gave me a personal assistant job. Tanisha was definitely a success when she was working in the entertainment field. I booked meetings, appointments, venues, to every little intricate detail of his lifestyle. She was very happy with this new lifestyle that she found. Being on tour was very exciting. It was fun to travel to different countries, different states. It was a dream lifestyle every single day. And my boss was the sweetest, good spirit, biggest, hardest man in the whole wide world. I was just head over heels in love, you know? Like, this is my first guy. I was excited. I just got a brand new truck. And one night, we were sitting in the truck. And all I remember is a person walked up to the car. Gun straight on to him, pointed to his head. I was up under the dashboard. I'm just like, God, I'm about to die. The shots were so loud and boom. I mean, like, to where it deafened me. It was like an outer body experience. I did not know brains really come out your head like that. And a lot of rumors came saying that he snitched on somebody, he was wanted, all that. I don't know. I still don't know to this day. It was really, really traumatizing. Tanisha was devastated. I wanted to block out every single thing that I was going through. Have you ever used with Tanisha? Yeah. Yes. It was a complete shocker. I was, ooh addicted ever since. Tanisha has always been against heroin use because she knew that it was a substance that was leading to my mother's demise. The thing that I hated the most, I became. I feel it's my fault, but I don't feel that I'm going to burn in hell for that because someone would have given her something that was not right. Once my drug of choice took a toll on me, um, I could not balance work anymore. I loved my job, but heroin just became more powerful. There's no way I had the heart to even tell him I was on a drug that I saw my mom damn near destroy her life to. My heart breaks for Tanisha because she knows the pattern of addiction. How was she making money? Tanisha did start performing in strip clubs. I borrow money, and sometimes I have to um, prostitute <laughs> to do this. Um, I have to do things I don't want to do to get it. I have sat my sister down on countless occasions trying to beg her to get help. We search for programs. I have pleaded day after day with my sister. We've been on that path of trying to get her recovery. And Tanisha has lost a lot to this drug. I've lost everything from apartment, cars, nice clothing, jewelry. Everything is just gone. I don't have anything left. She is just at a state and at a point of no return. to stop this madness. I think it might be an abscess. Yeah, it looks like one coming. It does? Yeah, dude. Look, it's all purple and red. Come on now. Damn, girl. And gruesome. Killing yourself. Oh, no. Too gorgeous and beautiful mm. of a person inside and out. It'll be OK, dude. My name is 
is Donna. Can you come on? There's a seat for you right there on the couch. Over here, baby. You got Hi, a baby. Here. Waiting for you. Here to see you. Hi, Jesus. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dear Tanisha, I admire how thoughtful and caring you are with others. You will give someone the shirt off of your back. I want to see change come into your life because I do not like the toll that these drugs have taken on you. Your appearance has changed drastically and your behavior is erratic. I want my sister back. Your nephews want their Tia back. Tanisha, please accept this opportunity and make a change in your life for the better. I don't want to lose you. Open your eyes, baby. <laughs> Let me be honest. But I am so tired of you not believing in yourself, Tanisha. If you do not accept this as being serious, <laughs> I'm so afraid I'm going to lose you, Tanisha. <laughs> you mean too much to me, girl. You mean too much to me. You're right here with me. I love you. Tanisha, your family loves you mm -hmm. very much, or we wouldn't be sitting here today. And what they're talking about um, that you're being offered today is to go to treatment and change your life and get sober. And Tanisha, if you do not accept this help, plan on not having me in your life any longer. Yeah, I cannot have her not in my life. Okay. Great, 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 great. I'm so excited. I'm proud of you, T. Thank you. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm good. You look amazing. Oh, look you. at you. Look how good your skin and everything <laughs> looks. I feel very mentally strong. I'm balanced level-headed, my mind is back, clear, focused. My life is back, I'm free, I feel free, I feel good.